Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Godzilla swimming at Kong for today's fun Godzilla vs. Kong video. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with this picture, we're going to begin with Godzilla spikes down here. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make a few kind of like pointy, jagged spikes like this. We're going to just kind of make these all different lengths and sizes, and you're just going to make some different kind of pointed, jagged lines like this. I'm going to add a couple more kind of coming down here too. They're just going to go right off the edge of my paper. Now, starting about here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out. I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to make another one that goes up and down like this. Now over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to come down. I'm going to go up and down again, and I'm going to go make it nice and wide as I come down here. Now starting here, I'm going to make a long line that's going to come up. It's going to come to a nice point, and then it's going to go down about here. And then starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up. It's going to come to another point, and it's going to come down to about here. Now starting right over here, we're going to make a line that's going to come out. It's going to come to a point and down. Another one's going to come to a point and down. And then I'm going to make another one that's going to go down like this. Now over here we're going to make lines going to go up and down. And we're going to make another one that's going to be really nice and tall and it's going to come down. We'll add another little curved line here. Now starting out here I'm going to make little lines going to go out and then down. And then I'm going to make a few more that are going to come out and then down just to kind of add some texture. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go out and then down. We're going to go out and then down, and then I'm just going to continue these all the way down. And then right about here we're going to add just a few more kind of little spikes coming off the end. Now starting up here we want to add Kong. Now to begin adding Kong we're going to start right about here and we're going to begin with his face. So starting right about here, we're just going to add a little line that's just going to go down and then it's going to come up like this. And then right here we're going to make another line that's going to go down and it's going to curve up like that. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go up for an eye and then another one right here that's going to go up for the eye. Now starting right here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go up and then down. Another one's going to go up and then down like this for the nose. I'm going to add a little line in here I'm going to color in, a little line in here. And then I'm just going to connect it right there. Starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve down. And then another little line that's going to curve down. We're going to bring them in just a little bit. Now starting here we're going to go out and then in. And another one we're going to go out and then in. And we're going to make a couple little lines underneath here. Next starting up here we're going to make lines going to go up and then it's going to curl down to here. Another one's going to go up and then it's going to come right down to here. Kind of like a rounded shape. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then it's going to go down to here. We're going to make a little line that's going to come up and down for like a tooth and we're going to end it right there. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and then I'm going to curve it up to here. I'm make another big pointy tooth in here and then we're going to add some smaller teeth right here. 
and we're going to add some small teeth on top as well. And I'm just going to color in some of the space right in between the teeth here. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down, it's going to curve around and then up here. Now starting right about here on the eyes, I'm going to make a little line, it's just going to be kind of jagged and zigzag, it's going to come down like this. And then another one over here, it's going to come down just a little bit, kind of pointy. Then I'm going to get to here and I'm going to make another line that's just going to come down some, with some points. And then it's going to curve up to here too. We're going to connect it there. I'm going to bring these two lines in right about here. I want to add a little curved line for an ear and then a little curved line right here for an ear. Next I'm going to start here. I'm going to make lines going to go up. It's going to come to a rounded point and then down like this. Now let's start adding the body on here. So first I'm going to start right up here by the ears, kind of by the bottom, and I'm just going to draw a little line that's going to come down. I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come out to here. And then down here, we're going to make a little line that's coming down like this for shoulders. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down. And I'm going to make another line that's going to curve down like this. Then starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go down. And then I'm just going to curve it around to here. And then right here I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and it's going to curl up. Another one's going to go down and up. One more right here. And then one more that's going to go up and then it's going to stop right about there. I'm going to bring this line up and I'll make a line that's going to curve around here. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up just a little bit. Then we're going to go out and then in like this. I'll make a line that's going to go up and then it's going to curve around to here for his arm. Now starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. I'm going to curve this around to here. And I'm going to make another one right here. It's going to go down. And then we're going to curve it around. I'm kind of sketching some of these just to give them kind of like a, of a, a little bit of a furrier look. Now right here, I want him to be holding his axe. So I'm going to make a little bit of a wavy line that's a little bit straight that goes up on each side. And then we're just going to kind of jump over here. I'm going to make it go out. We're going to go up and then bring it right back up to here. Starting right here, I'm going to draw a line across. And I'm just going to make kind of like more of a bumpy line right up here. And I'll do the same thing on this side. It's kind of where everything's tied together and we'll connect it. I'm going to make a little line. It's going to go up. It's going to be a little jagged. Then it's going to come down. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line. It's going to go down and up. Another one's just going to come out and then up. And we're just going to add some little kind of jagged points onto here. And we're going to go right to here. Starting up here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a line that's going to go out. We're going to bring it down, make it kind of jagged, and then up to here. And then right along here, I'm just going to add some kind of different little broken lines that are just going to go right across here to make it look like it's kind of tied together. Now starting here, I'm going to make just kind of like a zigzag line that's going to come down. I'm going to bring this line in a little bit and we'll make a little line down for part of his chest. We can go one side and then the other. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and then in. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it right down to about here. I'm going to bring this line in a little bit. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and in. 
Next, starting here, we're gonna go out and then down. And then starting here, we're just gonna bring this line down to here. Now for this hand, we're going to make a line that's gonna go down. It's gonna come back like this for a thumb. Then starting here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go out. It's gonna curve around here and then come right up to here. I'm gonna start out here. I'm gonna do another line that's gonna go down and then curve around. One more that's gonna go down. It's gonna to come to a little bit of a rounded point and then back. And then one here, it's gonna jump over the spike and come to here. And we're gonna make a little line that's gonna curve up and then we're just gonna connect it. Next, starting here, I'm gonna bring this line down a little bit. And then I'm just going to draw this line down. Starting here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go down to right about the spike. So now here's our basic shape of our kind of like Godzilla swimming towards Kong. Now we wanna come in here and add some of the different little details. Now first, starting up at like Kong's face, we're gonna make a couple little lines that are gonna come down. And it's kind of like a bro broken line right around here. I'm gonna make a couple little lines right here by his face. And a few more little lines right by his eyes. I'm also going to add a couple little pupils in there. A couple little curved lines inside for his ears. And then I'm just gonna add just a few kind of, just long kind of quick little lines in here just to show a little bit of fur. Right over here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of like some long kind of skinny lines just to show where he's been cut by Godzilla or like one of the skull crawlers. And then I'm just gonna add a couple little kind of extra lines onto the ax here with a few kind of long broken lines kind of running down the ax handle itself too. We'll add a couple little kind of quick little wrinkle lines on his fingers and everything. And then we don't really have to add a lot of lines on here for the fur. We're just gonna add just a couple little quick lines in some different spots just because we'll kind of come in here and add extra lines and details when we color this. So I'm just gonna add some kind of quick little extra fur lines just right around here, nothing too crazy. We'll add maybe a couple more on top of the head here. Now, starting on Godzilla spikes, one of the things I wanna do is I'm gonna add a little spike that's gonna come out and then down here a little bit more and maybe one more out here, just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Then, just for his spikes, all I'm gonna do is just come in here and add some long, broken lines in some different areas. I'm gonna add a little line that's gonna go up and down for another spike. And I like to just kind of start at the top of some of these spikes and make some nice long broken lines coming down. This just gives them a little bit more of like a three dimensional look. I'm gonna add just kind of some of these all around here. Just a lot of long broken lines and just some different areas here. And I'm just gonna add these all around just to make some fun kind of details and everything, maybe add an extra spike or two. And then I'm just gonna add like a little bit of like some wavy lines on here just to kind of show where the water is kind of running right along him, like he's coming right at him. And I think I might just make like a nice long kind of line right back here, like maybe Kong's waiting in the water for him too. But there you go, there is your drawing of Godzilla swimming towards Kong. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.